birthday, everybody. We're back at the Moreland house. Hey. Uh, we'd like to welcome our first non-paying sponsor. There it is. <laughs> My brother's company. He gave us a hat, some hats, so. Yeah. I guess that technically is, uh, that isn't paid, is it? We don't have to report that on our income taxes. No. So, but we're back at it. Yep. So enjoy another video. It's roof time. <laughs> All right, we're finally doing it. We're taking off the tarp. For the last time, we shouldn't have to put a tarp back down. Those are some famous class words there, baby. I know, but... You know, even if it's done wrong, it'll be better than a tarp up here. Right. So now I gotta take out all of the pieces of wood we've been holding it down. Holding the tarp with. down with. Take up my metal that I put up again. Fix a couple spots. There's a couple holes. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it is a mess, but this, this tarp has done a fantastic job. And when we were cutting some of that slate though, it was starting to cut holes and poke holes. And, and so, I'm throwing a couple up here. Yeah poked holes. We weren't gentle with this by no means. No, we were not. On this side. Still leaked, so. Yeah. We gotta do. It. it would just hold water. Yeah. But, hey, it, it, it lasted good for what it was. It lasted all winter, so we have no complaints. Frank, you're losing your copper roof though. I know. <laughs> All right, gotta get busy. Okay, to give you just a little perspective, this is that, that beam that Frank redid. This was the hole in our earlier videos that we kept climbing out. So all that's been filled in. The only holes that are left are right around this chimney we didn't get all that rolled roofing we had to cover it up we had, yeah we did it was going to rain so at this point that's that's those are the holes we have left uh, mainly here um so but this some of this this newer wood that you see it's not really new it was just off of that uh flat oh, roof and the lower flat roof in the back that we have the scaffolding set sat on so anyway that is where we're at and moving forward. This is something that somebody, nobody's seen in quite a while. We're gonna put, take the tarp off the chimney. This is the first tarp. This has been on yeah. there for I mean, almost a year. Look how pitiful this tarp is. I mean, it's, it's see-through, but you know what? It did its job. We needed it to do what it was supposed to do and helped keep out some of the water. It's just lived its life. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Look at the difference between under the strap. That's, yeah, part of it that's actually used up part of it. Yeah, it? yeah. Oh, it's a stone chimney. Oh, I forget that it's not I it brick. brick. I thought it was brick too. It's been so long. It's been a year. What do you know? How pretty is that? The chimney reveal. That's, you forget when you cover things up. How beautiful. They really, these, these uh, stone, there's only two stone ones. This is this one, and then that one over there. But it there. all needs repointed, of course. Yeah, that's okay. I, Frank's gonna teach me how to do that. And this will be a good training one. Yeah. It'll be right out where you can I'll do the, sit there and yeah. bring up your 50 pound bags of mortar and sand by yourself. And oh, that doesn't happen. <laughs> no, that, that doesn't happen. 
I do lucky with 40 pounds. 50 pounds. I must be getting old. You got another stone chimney, baby. That's awesome. That's beautiful. Huh. Let's look on this side. Carefully, carefully maneuvering. Just pretty. Just pretty. Let me go to the last side. But as you can see down here at the bottom, I haven't pulled all that rolled roofing and that's what I'm getting ready to do. So Get that- the last bits off. Yeah. So that we can finish up and get started on the rolled roofing. We, all right. Another thing we have to do, we have to, uh, this is where we put the new uh, rafters in. Oh, yeah. So we have to put nails in. We have to fasten All of them, yeah. these into the rafters. Some of our more observant uh, viewers. viewers even noticed that. Yeah. Hey, look. Hey, everybody, look. Our first magnolia flower. Our first flower. magnolia flower. How pretty is that? Now, I know they're pretty up here, but magnolias are dirty trees between the pods and the leaves and the, uh, but they are beautiful trees. But that's our very first one of the Well, we're remembering what it was like up here before with the uh, layers upon layers of tar and nasty and what all? Yeah, that's for sure. But here's what? A lot. A lot of layers. And then they, to make sure it didn't leak, they Tarted. put some white stuff oh, yeah. on it. It didn't. It might have helped for that afternoon. Yeah. Maybe. At least I graduated to a bigger, bigger one. Oh. Okay, I got all the roofing off all the way around. Now I've got to very gently try to take that, I guess Frank called it an over flashing. Um, it's so thin and it's rusted in several places or holes are in it. So I got to very gently take that out. Um, this wood right here is just falling apart in there. So we'll have to replace this and quite a bit close right up there um, because the flashing failed. And again, as you can see, there's another hole. Frank is working on patching those holes. Final holes. Yay. And in the meantime, I managed to get all the rest of the roofing and the flashing, and you said it was an over flashing? Counter flashing. A counter flashing. Counter, over, yeah. Anyway, but they have rolls of metal in there. Those were really hard to get out. But um, we're gonna put some new stuff up. We still have some holes to do over here as well, but there each side and he is much faster about piecing than I am <coughs> yeah. okay we have gotten all the proud nails out and broken nails out and swept really well and we're getting ready to put on the first roll of the underlayment for the, I guess it's a tar, type of tar paper, but it's a heavy duty design to go underneath the rolled roofing, torch down roofing. So that's as far as we got. Those are over, holes right there have been patched. All right, we're laying down the fiberglass underlayment for the 
modified bitumen rolled roofing torch down it's kind of an unnecessary step but if we try to torch down right over wood then there's a chance of it catching fire so we're gonna nail this down this fiberglass and torch down to it and that way if somebody needs to tear this roof up maybe later to put a flat metal roof on it then they won't have to deal with the tar being stuck to the the wood so we're thinking about whoever has to replace this in about 40 years I always got to think ahead I'll only be 95 so I sure hope it isn't me. So now that we have this up here, I'll go ahead and roll it out and then nail it down. And look at that. It's gonna look like a real roof up here. All right. I guess that's the first layer, or is that? That's the base. That's the base. Gary's playing in the tar. Well, it's not tar. It's modified bitumen cement that goes underneath the drip edge. It's not really a drip edge, it's kind of a drip cap. It's for uh, rubberized roofing. So now, we stick this on. And nail it down. I'm just gonna go down far enough to cover up the, the rubber roofing, and this will be covered. This will be covered by the cap sheet after we prime this, like we did the other one. But we got to do that all the way along, and then this won't leak anymore. This edge, anyway. Yeah. Okay, that drip edge is going back on. And there is apparently an art to painting that stuff on. I am not getting dirty. Not getting dirty. And um, he gave me a line to end. I apparently went a little wide yeah. and a little thick, but that's all right. a, that's all right. Today is a very big day at the Moreland house. Perfect coming out for the last time. For the last time. Getting all the the cap nails off the side. That's one way of doing it. Yep. 
Yeah. So, one of the good things about leaving a hole in the roof, for just a little while anyway, is we're just gonna drop all that debris. Good thing there was a hole. Yep. And down it goes. We didn't have to carry it. To be picked up later. This is the last tarp. Frank's gonna cut the edges off. Makes it a little easier. And then they're all gonna go away. Aha! Look! There's the top of the valley rafter peeking through. I don't know that we've ever seen that from the top. No. Oh yeah, we did, because I must have had to put this on. You did, but I don't think I saw it. Looks it looks like somebody pounded on it quite a bit. Looks like somebody pounded on it. Huh. But look at that. And it goes all the way down. So, right. yeah. But here goes the tarp for the very last time. My copper roof, I finally had to take off my copper roof. Yep. Now, for all you who are wondering, no, it's not totally flat. There is a very slight pitch to this. 112. 112. So, there is a slight pitch, but it still holds a lot of water. So, yes. <laughs> nicely. Now, as somebody pointed out, and I think I said this earlier, mm -hmm. we still have to run and connect all these decking boards to our new rafters because this is where yeah. our new rafters run through right here so you can you can see where those those that's our new rafter yeah those and are I, nailed. We nailed some of them yeah we got to finish nailing all the way across the top yep on this one these are our new rafters there here here and here yes because that was all rotten yes of the valley rafter is all cut off and Frank's going to replace those two boards there. I'm in the process of attaching the rafters to the decking and I'm almost done with that. Um, so it's uh, getting there. Frank's over here um, putting in scabbing. scabbing, which is another word for a nailer or a sister up. Right? Yeah. So. There's some that are rotted in just a few places, but there's nothing to attach the decking to. So, doing what we gotta do. That. So, we are making progress. Making, bacon. Making, bacon, making progress. And of course, we chose a hot day to do this on. But it's not raining. So there's a slight breeze, so we'll go with it. Slight uh, being the keyword. <laughs> yeah. All right, closing in these holes over there, and uh, getting it all closed in and fixed up, and that's awesome. So. What are we gonna do with no holes in the roof? Ah, oh, we have to we'll carry. Have to huff everything down. Uh, the no, that's not going to be fun. Well, we'll still have those holes right now for for the very, very last. Oh, those yeah. over there on the edge. And all right, my task of screwing the rafters to the decking are finished. So now I've been given the task, if I so chose to accept it, is to paint this upper part Prime it. and of all that edge drip edge and prime it for the roofing to go down. So I'm going to be using all that. So going to get busy. Right. The drip edge is now primed and ready. 
all the rest of the drip edge is already already has that coating on it um, but that is now finished Frank is still went down and got all the boards ready to put back in and then the holes the decking will be repaired but as you can see we on some of the knot holes we um, nailed it down some tin so that the the roofing would not sink down into those knot holes and, uh, so we thought that would that way they won't make a dimple and hold water frank got all this around the chimney repaired and so it will it will hold the decking now so that's awesome so the only holes we have left up here are right there and they'll be closed up soon and I have been pulling nails and covering knot holes and covering knot holes not the prettiest but it's going underneath so I'm working in three foot swatches from here to about right there is where I'm trying to get all the nails up that I can get up or hammered down if they're a little bit proud and I can't get them out so that's where we're at Mimi wait are you helping me edit hmm? are you helping me are you helping me oh oh would you give me kisses oh Mimi Mimi yeah I'm doing laundry huh 